Hey guys, how's it going? Just wanted to check in with you guys this wonderful Saturday morning. I'm super excited because my sister's coming over and we're going to do face-ups. We're also going to do facials, so we'll be doing our dolls' faces and our faces. And just, it's going to be a great time of catching up and all of that fun stuff. So I can't wait for that and I will post pictures and things once we're finished. I can't wait to get started on my shoe shoe. Adelaide has been a long time in coming and I just am super excited. I can't wait to see how she turns out. I've tried her on the Leaky World body that I got and it turns out that I did do some body switching. I switched Harriet's body with the mini fee body because it was shorter and smaller, more petite and frail like she's supposed to be and gave her mother her old body. So it turns out mother daughter kind of shared bodies for a while and switched, which leaves the leaky world F type girl body. And I think I was right when I guessed that it may not work out. However, like I said before, I have a knack for shelling characters that I did not intend to. And what I think I did was shell Mrs. McFarlane, also known as Maggie. So that's kind of exciting. I don't have a head for her or anything, but you know, it's a beautiful body. I'm super excited to have it in my possession. I'm working with the posability of it. I think, like I said in my previous video, uh, you do sacrifice some um, mobility for aesthetics, but I love the aesthetics. So to me, it's worth it. And it's still super poseable and it's just overall really beautifully sculpted. So I can definitely appreciate the art behind it. And hello again, everyone. This may be confusing because I was just speaking to you and this is the same video, but it's actually much later in the day. It's actually a different day. And um, I wanted to follow up with the face up that I did for Adelaide. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. While using the same sculpt as my Harriet character, I wanted her to have kind of a more mature look and her character likes to wear makeup and be made up and pretty and she spent her young 20s in the 1920s so she's all about the flapper era and I wanted to give her bright red lips and which is completely opposite of her daughter and while she may also have freckles like Harriet you would never see them because she's wearing so much makeup. <laughs> so I hope I was able to achieve that look. I look forward to making a wig for her um, and we'll be reporting back once I do that. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope you're all having a great dolly day and I will see you all soon. Bye.